I maintained an excellent level of physical fitness well into my 60s and early 70s. Here's a picture of me at 64, back when I was teaching yoga in Singapore. Then COVID happened. A year later, I look like this. Now I've told the story about how I decided to stay here in Thailand and uh, take care of uh, Bua Kao, my girlfriend and her family who had, uh, uh, Bua Kao had been working for me and you know, our relationship became much closer and her and her family took really good care of me. I was the old guy in the room because if you remember back then, uh, they were worried about old guys getting COVID and dying. So uh, yeah, they didn't want the golden goose to die. So, you know, they took really good care of me. And that could be a very beguiling situation. I was very comfortable and I grew fat and happy. And it's all because of COVID. I just told you the irresponsible version of the story, which was very easy to conjure up. You see, because I converted my yoga studio, I had to close the yoga studio, studio down to the public and I converted it into a bedroom kind of a small apartment where I spent much of my time while Bua Cow and her family took really good care of me and I could just say well I succumbed to the COVID malaise that many people around the world uh, experience and uh, got fat got out of shape and by pointing my finger at a disease now of course it was a big influence to people around the world I don't want to dismiss that but that's the irresponsible version of me putting on weight. In order for me to lose the weight, I had to accept responsibility. It had nothing to do with COVID. I got lazy. Circumstances around me changed, and I allowed those circumstances to affect my sense of responsibility to take care of myself. And because by the time I started trying to get back into good physical condition, I was 72 years old. So I had that conversation going on as well. Well, maybe I'm just at the point in my life where it's time for me to age gracefully or some kind of conversation like that. Because there's something very beguiling about being comfortable, financially secure, and have people taking care of you in your old age. It's, it's very comfortable. It's very easy to do. What would be difficult is to say, no, I prefer being physically fit and living a lifestyle that supports that kind of physical fitness, which is really difficult as you get older. It gets harder. Sorry to tell you that. But the good news is you can still do it. And I know that because I did. So what this video is about is about responsibility. In 1993, I took a, I attended a seminar. It was basically a motivational style seminar. And the leader of the seminar began uh, his instructions, his conversation with the notion that I am responsible for everything. Now, that's a little bit radical. And what he was doing there, he was using that radical position to uh, generate conversation, which was really effective because people don't accept such a notion. They're responsible? What do you mean responsible? I'm not responsible for any, everything. That's ridiculous. And it is kind of ridiculous. But what that statement is, is a stand or a position or an attitude that, hey, if I take responsibility for whatever it is that's going on around me, I'm no longer a victim. If I'm not responsible for what's happening, that puts me in a victim class. So it's a choice, it's a stand, it's a position. It's a, a place to come from. And that's my message in this particular short video is that be responsible for everything that's going on around you. Is that the truth? No, it's not the truth. It's a stand. Take that stand and your life will improve. It'll get a lot better. Here's the responsible uh, version of the story about what happened to me. COVID occurred, I had to shut down my yoga studio and I got lazy. I had people taking care of me. I was comfortable, safe and happy. And I got lazy and I got fat. And it damn near changed my life in a negative way for the remainder of my life because I got to a point where I was getting comfortable in it. And I'm old enough to say, well, it's my waning years and what the heck, I don't have to work my ass off staying in shape for these remaining years of my life. Those kind of thoughts were going on in my head. 
And what happened, something shifted and I took responsibility. In an upcoming video, I, I've talked about a couple of different ideas here. I've talked about commitment, I'm talking now about responsibility, and I'm going to start pulling these ideas together in one future video and make a short video about how all these ideas have worked for me very recently to get me back to a place where I feel strong, uh, motivated, uh, <laughs> a whole lot younger than I did uh, two years ago when I was overweight and sitting in my room and being glum. Take responsibility. You're, the, you're, you're the, the person that has the ability to say, hey, I'm responsible. And once you start telling yourself that way, solutions to whatever the problem is that's occurring in your life will start appearing for you. Where if you're not responsible, you become a victim. Don't be a victim. Be responsible. See you soon. between the toes, heels, knees and hands, bring your chest up, chin up, lean back, go back, way back, inhale, breathing, come up, 